everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel, So Little Time, and my name is Karen. So I hope you're all doing really well. I just really wanted to come on today to have a quick chat with you all, to give you an update of where I'm at with my sewing, and also just to touch base with regards to the Stitch Festival that's taking place in London this weekend. And I also have sat beside me a really exciting box of goodies that I really want to share with you all. So firstly, before I get stuck into the video, I'll quickly tell you what I am wearing. And you will have seen me in this numerous times because I do wear it ever such a lot. It's the Poppy Pinafore dress by Jane at the Dressmaker's Closet. And it's just such a comfy dress to wear. I've also paired it with a, a raggy brooch that is also by Jane at the Dressmaker's Closet. So these are available on her website. And I've paired it with my spotty cocoa dress, um, top by Tilly and the Buttons. So the first thing I'll talk to you about then is this lovely box of goodies that I've got here. And you will have seen these popping up on YouTube and Instagram over the last few days and um, they have been hitting everybody's doorsteps um, recently and uh, this is the new Think Pink subscription box service by Andrea and Keris at Beyond the Pink Door and I am one of the lucky ones to have received one of these boxes. Now they haven't actually set up the subscription service officially as yet, they are trialing it for the first four months because they just wanted to see you know, what the reaction for it was going to be like before they sort of set it in stone as such and there were only 50 boxes available for the month of March, so they were on a first come first served basis. And she, do, Andrea does a live on um, YouTube every Sunday at seven o'clock UK time. And during one of her live sessions, she was speaking about bringing out these boxes. And she also asked for um, suggestions of the name for it. And as you can see, it's called Think Pink. And I was actually the one who came up with this name. And I'm just so pleased that she went with my suggestion. I just messaged her and said, oh, how about this? You know, in keeping with the pink lady theme, um, and also the Beyond the Pink Door theme as well, as uh, the sewing community who get involved with Andrea's lives and she's got a lovely Facebook group as well. We all call each other the Pink Ladies. So I just thought it was in keeping with that. Um, so yeah, I was actually one of the lucky ones to have received these because once she put them up um, on her website, they sold out like grease lightning. <laughs> sold out in two minutes it was just amazing so I mean unfortunately quite a lot of people were disappointed that they didn't get one um but yes this is actually a very special box for me because Andrea has kindly gifted this to me just to say thank you for coming up with the name so I feel really really grateful for that I mean I've never had a subscription box before so that was really exciting in itself to be able to receive one um but she is going to try and increase the numbers over the next few months so there is more um, availability and it is just on a first come first served basis um, for the next four months and then she will actually set up the official subscription service so once you subscribe you'll obviously be able to get your box on a monthly basis. Now she will have these go live on the 15th of the month I believe and um, so you do need to set your clock to be able to you know get on and um, bag yourself one of these so I'm gonna unbox it with you today I have already opened it as I you know I just couldn't wait I had to un undo it um, but it comes in this lovely white box and it came in a lovely pink bag and then it had this lovely sticker on it which as you can see I've opened so inside you get um, a letter just telling you about the um, the box itself and then you've got this QR code so you can scan that with your phone um, and it takes you to a video which Andrea has uploaded onto YouTube and it's how she speaks to you all about the fabric that is included in the box um, and also gives you tips and hints on how to care for it and use it um, and that kind of thing so yeah this is how it looks inside then in this lovely pink wrapping paper so I'm just going to rustle a little bit um, just to open it up so inside, the first thing I came across was this card, um, which says Think Pink subscription so box on the front of it, and number one, so this is obviously the first box. And then when I turned it round, it's got um, the Pink Ladies Pledge on the back. So I'm gonna read this to you. The Pink Ladies Pledge to act cool, to look cool, and to be cool, to death do us part, think pink. And I just, when I, took that out of the box. I just laughed out loud because it really did take me back to when I was at school and me and my best friend, you know, we've I've always been grease mad and we used to dress up like the pink ladies with a pink jacket on and have these paper cigarettes rolled up in our mouth, um, you know, thinking we were so cool. <laughs> it just reminds me of when we used to chant that in the playground. Um, so I just absolutely loved that, Andrea. I just loved it. That is going up on my pin board for sure, you know. <laughs> and then inside the box we have here 
Um, some lovely woven interfacing, which is really nice to have, and it's really nice and soft as well. So that's going to be perfect for um, doing facings, lining pockets and that kind of thing, you know, just to ensure that nothing stretches out. And then inside you've got um, some thread, and I had a pink one with mine. So that's lovely. And then I also got a nail file which is brilliant because I am always scagging my nails. My nails just break all the time. So they're always needing, you know, a little bit of filing just to keep them smooth. And then inside this little package here, we have some lovely, um, I think it's hand solve, um, which you can also use on your lips as well. And this is by, um, I think it's the Dolly tub so i will link um her instagram actually down below and this is made locally to andrea and keris and uh, it's a, a lady who is local to her and she i think she makes these obviously from scratch herself so it was really nice that to receive a local thing and this is perfect because my hands oh, they're so rough they're really really bad i've always got cuts on the top in the cold weather and because we're a family five and we don't have a dishwasher i'm always washing up so my hands are always in and out of water and during the winter months my hands do not look the best so I'm really excited to um, use that and it smells oh, absolutely divine um what is it it says it's rose hip castor and sweet almond oil in it with shea butter beeswax lavender rosemary sweet fennel essential oils oh absolutely beautiful so thank you so so much for that lovely little gift inside there so on to the exciting bit then it's this gorgeous viscose fabric look at that absolutely stunning really really gorgeous i mean i have no idea what i'm going to make with it yet but we've got two and a half meters so a real generous amount there and i think i will turn it into a dress for sure it's got gorgeous drape to it it's really nice weight as well so i'm hoping it will be fairly easy to work with if not my can of spray starch will be coming out to help me um but i'm really looking forward to getting that sewn up into something for the summer months so i'll just bring it in a little bit closer for you so you can see the colors but that's absolutely beautiful and it's got a lovely paisley design on it it reminds me actually of um when you put paint into something and give it a swirl around it's something that the kids do um but i'm definitely going to turn that into a floaty dress you know maybe something with some nice tears on it i don't think i'll do the wilder gown because um i've already made that recently and i'd like to try out a different pattern so i'm not really sure yet i'll have a look through my pattern stash as i do have enough so that's the lovely box um that i was kindly gifted so thank you so so much i am over the moon with being able to receive that you know i do feel really really grateful for it so thank you so so much so the next thing i'll talk to you about then is the stitch festival and that is taking place in london this weekend in actual fact it's been going on since midweek so we're on the friday the 4th of march today and i was contacted a little while ago by laura at so different patterns as i made the long line jacket that she designed and she asked me if i'd like to be part of the makers catwalk that is taking place on saturday at 12 noon so obviously I've said yes and I'm going to London tomorrow um, with my friend Sarah who is Get Thready on Instagram and um, she lives around the corner from me and we met through our hairdresser and it just so happened that we both like dressmaking so she's coming along with me this weekend and we are meeting up with Angela from Devon Threadtails, Adele from Button and Pip and Anna from You Got Me in Stitches so I'm so excited and also it's going to be the first time that I'm attending any type of show like this as well so all the firsts for me this weekend. Um, so I'm going to be showcasing my long line jacket then from So Different Patterns and I'll show it you here. I've got it on the hanger paired with what I'm wearing with it. So this is my beautiful jacket in this jacquard fabric which was gifted to me from um, Julia at Bobbins and Buttons as I did a blog post for her earlier last year. Absolutely love this jacket. It's just such a straightforward sew. It was really enjoyable to sew and um, it's just got some really nice lines to it, you know, and the fabric I think it was just really designed to be paired with it i just absolutely love it so i'm going to be wearing it with um my millie denim pinafore dress that is also by julia at bobbins and buttons and i'm just going to be wearing it with a plain cocoa top which i made years ago i haven't even finished it with the overlock it was before i had my overlocker and um, so i'm just keeping it really simple so i'm going to be wearing that when i go on the catwalk i'm 
don't think I'll wear my jacket actually to the show. I'll probably put it in a bag because I don't want to skag it or anything like that. Um, yeah, but I'm so excited to get on that catwalk. I mean, I'm really nervous as well. Don't get me wrong, because um, I'm not really sure how big or small it's going to be and how many people are going to be watching. But my dad's um, kindly driving me, my mum and Sarah um, this weekend to London. So he is hoping to get some footage of me. So I really hope to do a video all about the Stitch Festival and hopefully have me actually, you know, on the catwalk so you can see but yeah I absolutely love this jacket and I'm really excited to share it with the audience and I'm just delighted that I was asked as well so it's going to be lovely to see whoever else is going to be you know strutting their stuff on the catwalk and what they're going to be sharing so yes that's that um and then with regards to my sewing then, obviously if you've watched my February plans, you'll know that I had about five or six things planned to sew in February. I've had a fairly productive month. We did have um, half term, so there was a week where I didn't actually do any sewing because I had the children at home and we were really busy. I went to Gloucester to see a friend and, and saw some family. And then um, it was my twin's sixth birthday, so I was cake making actually. I'll insert a couple of pictures of the cakes that I made. So James um, asked for a rocket cake and Thomas asked for a dinosaur cake. And it probably would have been easier if I'd have just gone out and bought them, but no, I do like to have a go at making my own and uh, they were really happy with them as well. So yeah, and they had a lovely craft party, which we actually did some um, deco patch and I've never done that before. It was actually harder than I thought, but I bought some letters for all the children. So the initial of their first name, and then I bought the papers and ripped them all up and everybody glued them on. And uh, we just had a nice crafting session for their birthday. So that was really, really nice. And I'll insert a photo of the, uh, the letters. So yes, anyway, I digress. With regards to the sewing then, I've had a fairly productive month. So I haven't finished everything as yet. So I've decided I'm not going to do a February makes video. I'm gonna do like a February and March makes video because I'm taking part in the Sew Frugal 22 challenge. So I've got a couple of things that I want to make for that. So I just thought I may as well just all include them in one video at the end of March. So I have nearly finished one and I'm planning on wearing um, this tomorrow. So this is one of my February um, plans that I told you about and it's the Fraser Cardin by Love Notions and I've actually used this gorgeous French terry fabric which I won from Tabitha's house. Now the only problem with this is obviously it's got a white background and if I'd have thought about it I should have lined the hood but I've just got to finish this off so I'm last minute sewing to get this done so I can wear this over my pinafore dress whilst I'm walking around tomorrow. Um, so I've just got to put the cuffs on, I think. So on the sleeves, yeah, I just need to put the cuffs on there. But I'm really pleased with how this has turned out. Um, I just wish I'd have lined the hood, really. But do you know what? I wouldn't have been able to have done it, thinking back. I didn't have enough fabric. I literally just about squeezed this out of two metres. So if you are planning on making the Fraser cardigan by Love Notions, I suggest getting two and a half metres at least because I had to piece together the inside of the um, the band that goes all the way around the cardigan. So yes, that's um, that was quite interesting. <laughs> but I managed to sew it on the right way around so the seams are on the inside at least. But I'm really pleased with how this has uh, turned out and I'm looking forward to wearing that tomorrow just as a thin layer. So I don't really want to wear a coat whilst we're in the, um, the Stitch Festival really. Yeah, so that's that. So I'll bring you my makes then at the end of March. I'll share with you hopefully a video all about the Stitch Festival um, and hopefully get some footage whilst I'm there and of me on the catwalk, etc. And um, yeah, just thank you again to Andrew and Keris for this amazing subscription box and that beautiful fabric and all the goodies that are included inside. So thank you for watching today. Please give this video a like and subscribe if you've not done so already. And I will see you again very soon. Okay, take care, bye.